Hey Scorpio, I'm back y'all with another video for y'all. This is going to be for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy to have you here with me today. So go ahead and consider clicking that bell to subscribe. You don't want to miss out on any future videos, okay? So this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. However, if it does not resonate, guys, check out your other placements. Uh, your moon and your rising, your Venus, North Node, you may get your messages there. All right, so let's talk Scorpios. Let's talk Scorps. <laughs> My Scorpions. Let's see what messages we have for you. For February, yes. <laughs> All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we got the world. Okay, and the Nine of Cups. Hmm, interesting. Y'all already, y'all, it's already interesting. I ain't even pull, pull yet, and it's already interesting. So the world here is closure. So we got the Nine of Cups here as well. So maybe you want um, a chapter to be over. You're ready to close a chapter. We got the Queen of Swords. Eight of Cups. Devil. And Three of Cups. The Page of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Four of Cups. And the Death Card. All right. So y'all are coming off as the Queen of Swords. You could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I got Scorpio and Capricorn here. The signs really don't matter, but I feel like you feel like you've been being really patient with the situation. And you feel like the situation is toxic or something here is just like not right, okay? The devil. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody here is greedy. You wondering what somebody is thinking? <laughs> somebody here is greedy. The devil and the Ace of Pentacles. Like somebody here is like really greedy for money. Temperance could be a Sagittarius. Your challenge is walking away. Eight of Wands. Yeah, you're trying to get up on the bottom of that. See, we got the judgment. You're realizing this person's motives or intentions, and you're ready to get up out of that. All right? I feel like you're going to possibly, like, go go back to... Some of y'all are being going back to being a player. Okay? Going back to doing that single thing. Okay? Hmm. Why is the Eight of Wands here? The emperor. Maybe you want to leave. Maybe you're dealing with the baby mother, baby father thing. Um, but we got an emperor here. Somebody leaves when somebody starts talking about responsibilities or talking about being a father or a mother. Um, and it's like you're wondering what they're thinking. Like, you may feel like this person is being selfish or greedy. Why is the three of cups here? The lovers, the lovers and the three of cups, high priestess and the ace of cups. Somebody's expressing how they feel. Okay, why is the lovers here? You could be dealing with a Gemini, the star, Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, but I'm getting like three people. It's like it's someone saying like I love all three of y'all, or I. <laughs> Like, I'm getting, maybe, like, I'm getting, like, for some of you, this is a baby mother, baby father, a husband, wife situation or something like that, where somebody is trying to, like, it's like you're thinking, like, what is this person thinking? Yeah. 
Yeah, because I'm getting like some of y'all are looking for another option. Some of y'all are looking for other options. Somebody here was asking for money. Or there was talks about money here with the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, stability. Or marriage here. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. The Two of Cups. Yeah, like you felt like you had to watch how you move. Like you got to be careful how you move when it comes to your money. Like somebody's draining your resources. Knight of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, like the Tower and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like you're giving more than you're getting back. Okay, and I'm also getting like there was a, a relationship or... This was how you guys did did you guys' this relationship, or there could have possibly even been a marriage. Four of Pentacles. Okay, now you're going to be holding back your feelings, possibly from a cancer. But I'm getting like you're feeling uncertain. Okay, you're feeling uncertain. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Somebody's trying to force you to do something, and now you're ready to close this chapter. Strength card could be a Leo. But this is restraining. The strength card is restraining and kind of like holding back. Okay, now we got you communicating with this person. Ooh, Knight of Swords. This could be children because I'm getting like the mother and children here with this Knight of Swords. Now, the Empress is the mother card because we got the Emperor and the Empress here. Okay, so you could be in communication with the baby mother or a baby father or a husband or a wife or something like that. I'm getting that this is who this storyline is for. Um, why is the Knight of Swords here? Yeah, like you're not sure what the you're not sure what to say or how to say something. There's this mother card again. Somebody feels like somebody isn't isn't being um, independent enough or isn't. I'm getting like somebody. You guys aren't sure what to say about something. <laughs> now I'm getting for this. This is about sex, so maybe you aren't certain what to say. I'm getting like this is a. I'm really heavily picking up on like this is a, a, a family dynamic, a uh, husband, wife, baby mother, baby father, and children being involved, because I'm getting like somebody here is. I'm getting like y'all are in y'all head about what to say about something here. And it could be for some, the sex talk. Look at this, Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands, okay? And I feel like some of y'all aren't certain what to say or how to express it or something. Look at this, the Ten of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. This is younger energy, okay? Maybe you feel like they're too young Ten of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. Maybe you feel like they're too young for this talk. But someone's pushing you to do it. Queen of Cups, Chariot, and the Ten of Pentacles. Like somebody's pushing you to do it. I feel like it's a some your mother or grandmother or somebody here. Okay? Somebody's trying to get you to take a step forward to do something or say something or you're trying to or vice versa you're trying to get someone to step up more to the plate i feel like the other person involved in this situation is like they're having some regrets that they waited so long 
to bring this up. I keep getting it. There's a marriage here. Or there's a Libra. We got justice here. Libra or Pisces here. But they feel like this. somebody's going through some major changes. There's a wake-up call. Somebody feels like it's time for this conversation to be had. Okay, there's that this person or somebody needs some more more attention. They knew that you was going to respond the way that you was going that you responded, but they felt like it was the need to have this open and honest conversation with you to see how you feel. Okay, why is the four of cups here? I don't feel like you really want this. Okay, see, yeah, the world. See, like I'm getting like four of cups energy is kind of like a no card to me. You don't think that is time. You don't think that it's time for something. Why is the world here? There's, there she is again, the Empress and the Ten of Swords. <laughs> yeah, like, you don't think that is the right thing to do, the right move to make. Okay, now we got you guys as, as the outcome with this death card here. This is transformation, though. This is changes and transformation. Why is the death card here? All right, somebody here is offering some money or somebody's about to get offered some money, but I feel like some type of offer is getting ready to come. Somebody's offering somebody some money. Somebody sending somebody some money or offering somebody some money. And then you're surprised. I'm getting like you're surprised that somebody would take it. I don't know what y'all got going on here. I feel like you feel like you know what you're doing. You don't need you don't need them to try to force you to make a decision. Um, you don't need them to try to force you to make a decision. Um, you know when it's going to be time to take action. I'm getting that. Like you feel you're going to feel like you know when it's time to take action. Somebody's trying to force y'all to <laughs> make some type of decision or do something their way, see things their way. But I'm just getting like you're not, either you're not prepared or ready to have this conversation with this person, or you just don't, you feel like, you know, I'm, I don't have to move when you say move. I don't have to do it when you tell me to do it, you know. It, it'll get done. You don't have to, I don't have to listen to you when you say do this or that, I'm going to move on my time. <laughs> and for a lot of you, I'm getting like this is a baby mother, baby father situation, a husband and wife. Like, I'm just getting, like, it's a family dynamic thing, okay? And that's for some. You know, take what resonates and leave what does not. But that's going to be the message that I have for Scorpios. If you are interested, guys, in booking a personal, that information is going to be in the drop box below. As well as if you want to check out the website, um, the website is www.EmpressEmpireOils.com. And I will chat with y'all on the next video. Ciao.